Hey, this is Brad at Blue Knot Farm. I want to talk about uh, receiver hitches, uh, specifically ones for tractors. And they're probably one of the most useful little tools that you can have on the farm that you don't really think about so you really need it. And you'll be surprised once you have it how, what a benefit it is uh, because you can do multiple things with it. So stay tuned and we'll kind of cover what you can do with these and how they work. And if you're going to buy one, try to get the one with the most benefit. And this is one that I find to be quite uh, beneficial. So this receiver hitch is basically from Titan Equipment, and it was under $500, and you can get it and add to it if needed. But it really does three different functions. One uh, function is that it has a 2 and 5 16 ball hitch setup where you can move gooseneck trailers around. So if you have a dump trailer or a gooseneck flat trailer uh, that you need to haul around the farm or off-road, you can easily do that using the tractor. Secondly, if you have a bumper pull hitch, you have a receiver here that you can use to uh, hook up to uh, any trailer that has a standard hitch, bumper pull hitch style. Now, the other thing too is, if you wanted to have it set up for a pindle hitch, again, all you have to do is change the type of hitch that you need down here. The third function that this thing does, and I bought this as well, is that it is also serves as a bale spear. So you can buy the bale spear and you can stick it in and, and bolt it down here. And it has the two pins for the other two uh, shafts that will basically be used as a bale spear. So you have that as an alternative. So these are all the three things that you can use this for that makes it beneficial. How I use it a lot of times is that say I have to go, I don't have the help a lot of times to go get hay out the field. So I can put a front bale spear on the tractor. I can put a rear bale spear onto this unit. I can back up to my gooseneck trailer, take it out to the field, drop the trailer and go grab a bunch of round bales and load the trailer, back up to this with the tractor, hook up and drive it home. That makes it basically a good tool for me because I don't have to shuffle trucks around and cars around and maybe I only have a few bales in the field and I have to I only want to make one trip. This is where this thing shines. Uh, the other thing it shines for if I was taking my dump trailer, my on-road trailer and I went back in the woods to get firewood, meaning logs, I could take that back there and just set the logs on the trailer and haul it back and turning my on-road dump trailer into an off-road dump trailer. And it's only reason I can do that is because I have this receiver hitch. So it's very, very beneficial in that regards. The other thing that these things can do is just to have them is a sense of being able to just jockey stuff around the yard if you need to, because then you don't have to take a truck, back up to it, try to hook things up, and then take off again. So again, this is just an easy, easy tool to have. Now, the only other thing I want to add to this is that I use this receiver with the hydraulic top link. And the reason why I do that is because I can alter and change the pitch forward and back if necessary, and I don't have to screw around with a regular top link. And again, this is another reason why I promote the hydraulic top links because it's just another thing that could be used. So this ball hitch can move forward or back as necessary. So it just makes it a little bit easier on, on control. Sometimes if you're too low, you can kind of like snake this down a little bit and be able to come up underneath something and lift it if you, you're not high enough. So, but other than that, it's really a good system to have and I highly endorse having one of these. Just to show you the control you have with the hydraulic top link, you can go forward and go back up. But you have more control to angle, so as you lift this thing down and up, you may want to alter your pitch with the tractor depending on what you're hooking up. So it just makes it easier for you to catch and balance everything when you're using the hitch. Now, but you have a lot of lift to this, so you have a lot more movement. And that makes it a little bit easier because you have more flexibility with that hydraulic top link, in my opinion. You know, the number one reason why I bought the receiving hitch, not only does it serve as a three-point bale spear, but it also allows me to take any trailer and I can turn it into an off-road trailer because I can haul it with the tractor. And that makes it special. So the situation I had is I was making hay in a field that was about 10 acres back from the road. 
and the field would always get flooded and sometimes have standing water four to six inches after a rain. So if I wanted to get my hay out of there or the ground was wet, I had a hard time pulling back there with my dually truck. So I was better off to use the tractor and some form of wagon. And I always like to haul with my 28 foot gooseneck because I had more control and I can bring it all back in one shot. Um, and it, it, everything rode better and rode easier. And it worked out really well. So for the money, it was a very big benefit to have. And I use it once in a while for hauling hay. It's not always my number one choice because I prefer to use the truck because it's quicker, depending on the distance. But if you have short fields or are close to your property, this is a good, easy way to handle it. And again, if the weather was bad um, or wet ground, you can you, you have more versatility because you're pulling it with the tractor. And it's just something to think about, depending on what your goals are in your operation. Now, if you're just using this receiver just to move pieces of equipment around, that's the second most popular, well, actually, probably the more most popular reason why I bought these things is to move equipment around. Uh, but I use mostly the one for my skid steer than I do for my tractor. Uh, but if you just have, if you don't have a skid steer and you have a tractor, you know, you're going to find that you move equipment around a lot. And it's a lot easier to use a tractor in this system than it is to use a truck. So I think that you're going to find a lot of benefit in doing this. But if you own like a, a boat yard or <clears throat> you dealt with, you know, on a farm where you got to move equipment all the time from point A to point B and just shuffling around your yard, you can't go wrong with this. It's a lot easier to manage and everything's right there. And you can always change off with the receiver type hitches that you need as necessary. You know, because a lot of times I either have a ball hitch on or I have a flat hitch just like a, for a trailer where I can just drop a pin in. Those are probably the, my two main uh, hitches that I use unless I'm hooking up to the gooseneck. And that's a standalone issue for just basically two pieces of equipment that I own. So this is my 28 foot gooseneck trailer, one I take out uh, in the field a lot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how quickly it is to hook up to this. Now the only downfall with this hitch on a three point, depending on your tractor size, is the fact you need to get this hitch high enough off the ground so you can come underneath it with a tractor because it is sitting a little bit higher. And uh, that would be the only downfall. So definitely try to jack up your trailer high enough that you can do this kind of stuff with it. Uh, so I put a block underneath it, uh, like a four by six block, and then I wind up having uh, it jacked up as much as I can when I set it down. Um, but it makes it easier to come underneath with this type of setup. So let me show you how quickly it is and how nice it is to hook up versus taking a pickup truck and backing up and hooking up. So once you get leveled out right underneath it, once you're locked in, then you have the opportunity, once you tie in, you can use that hydraulic top link to move it and level it exactly where you want it. Then all I do is I make sure I lift up enough to get the the blocks out. But to move this, it's relatively simple. Just lock it in, just like you would on a truck, and you're done. And what's nice also with this Titan, if I was going down the road, I can actually hook up my chains because there's several holes there for safety. So again, it makes it well worthwhile. Now the one thing that I want to do that I haven't done yet, and I'm going to make is get a if I can find one to purchase is a pong for the lights from the tractor to the trailer. So I want to get a section that I can hook these things up to so I have lights. Because my problem with this 28 foot gooseneck trailer, when I'm hauling hay down the road, I can't see. So when somebody's up behind me, I want to at least have directionals and brakes that I can click on just in case if I turn, I can at least indicate that and people are less likely to turn into me. So that's probably the biggest thing that I want to do. Uh, to this, but I haven't done that yet, and that would be my only suggestion. But if you're doing it on your farm or on your property and you're just moving it around, you're, you'll be plenty safe, you know, just hooking up just like this. And it's really fast and really easy, as you can see. So, the one thing I want to point out too is if you're actually hooked up to this trailer and you say you had the bale spear on, your bale spear is coming all the way out to here, you're going to have plenty of turning radius and room that you can turn with the spear on and it's not going to be a factor. So you don't have to worry about taking it on and off in the field. You can actually leave the house and everything hooked up if you're pulling a trailer. And that's a benefit. And I think that makes this a more universal tool than going out and spending $300 to $350 on a brand new bale spear three-point when you can get one that's a combination 
and it has all these uh, potentials for uh, gooseneck trailer hitch and or a uh, bumper pull hitch. I mean, then you have it all. And I think there's more stability in this because you can change in and out. You know, and again, there's so many different types of hitches on the market here. You know, once you have the receiver, all you have to do is slide it in and, and connect it and you're good to go. So really a very handy tool for the money. And I think that it's, I'll, I'll, you're going to get as much bang on your dollar. This is where you should start. And it's a really cheap uh, piece of equipment that you can use it for multiple things when you really, really need it. One of the downfalls to my 28 foot gooseneck trailer that I found out is when I disconnect from the tractor and I load the trailer on the ground by itself, it only has one jack and so it's not as stable so a lot of times this thing will shake a little bit. So I have to be careful on how I load. The other thing is because this trailer is 28 foot going back, if I start unloading and I'm too light in the front, this whole trailer will actually lift off the ground. So I'm better off to make sure this thing's fully loaded and unload from the back going forward once they get home. And if I load, I want to load from the front going to the back. But other than that, that's because it's not connected to the tractor. Now, if you just had a tractor and you were just using this to go back and forth, oh, that would be fine. But, and then if you have another tractor to load, it really wouldn't be a problem. But what I suggest you do is carry a block with you so you can lift this trailer high enough off the ground so you can hook it up to your tractor, especially when it's loaded. That'd be the best thing I could tell you. And I think you'll troubleshoot that as you go. Now on this gooseneck trailer, it's a 16 foot uh, sure track uh, dump trailer, 16K. But this one has two jacks for a stands. And so it's gonna have a lot more stability. So if I unhook this and leave it in the field, loading it would be definitely a lot easier and you're not going to have uh, the stability problems that you had if you just have a single uh, stand, which I did on the other one. So again, it's, all it is is more about stability than anything else, and you just need to keep that in mind when you're loading and unloading if you're using the traction, you have to disconnect. So basically, once you got hooked up and you actually have your uh, trailer hooked up, all you need to do is pull the board from the base and just lift up on the stand. What I do is I just, because it's spring hitched, all I'll do is come down, pull it, and then I'll just take the block and I'll just set it up on the trailer here and then I can travel because realistically with the tractor you're not going that fast and it's a lot easier. So, and I would just leave the board right sitting right there up and down the road and it'd be the easiest thing that I do and uh, like again you're not going so fast so it's not a big deal you know if you don't need the bale spear then I would say don't even look at it as an option but if you're a farm and you have animals and stuff like that you may want to get that bale spear option it's not going to hurt you and it makes it more valuable you definitely want the gooseneck set up you definitely want the receiver on the bottom so you can pull trailers and that's really what it's made for and uh you know, again, you can have different style hitches. You know, this is the hitch I use the most probably for moving around trailers. And, you know, these are only like 20 bucks, so they're pretty cheap to get. And there's multiple ball setups. I like the three-way myself, but sometimes if you need a tight turn, you can't turn with the three-way. So that's why a two-way is a little bit better if you need the smaller balls. Um, but again, you know, it's very beneficial. Now with the receiver units too, even on the bottom, you can go to Harbor Freight and get a receiver where you actually have a vise that's set up into this. So this tool can be used for multiple things uh, that you can hook into using the receiver. And if you're crafty, you can probably make up something in addition to this that you know gives you another purpose for the receiver. But the bottom line is this. This is a, a cheap tool, something you're gonna use a lot and it's multiversal. It's not something like a, a disc or a plow that sits there and you only need it for special occasions. This is something you can use all the time, moving things around, whether you're in the city or a farm. You know, if you have boats and trailers and you have a tractor, utilize this. You, I think you'll like it a lot and you'll find out how simple it is. But with the hydraulic top link, it does make a lot of difference too and a little bit easier. But even if you don't have one, like I say, get, a, get one of these, they're really handy and you can't go wrong. I also want to mention too that this one in particular is a category one and getting find one that's a category two if you have a bigger tractor it's really a lot more pricey so all i did was get the bushings like i've mentioned earlier 
that basically clip onto the three point and stick them in to make them a category two. And that's all you'll need. And it'll be relatively very simple to use. You guys, thanks for watching the video. Like I said, that receiver hitch is well worth the money. You can't go wrong. And it's something that you'll be happy you have it because it's just so cheap. And uh, it has a lot of different purposes to use. So with that said, see you guys later. And thanks for watching.